Well, here I am. I'm finally getting around <clears throat> to making another video about my glasses, which I've had a few requests for. So, yes, these are my same old ones. I do have some new ones, but they're pretty similar. I'll show them in a separate video. But anyway, so here are the favorite glasses making their reappearance. And, um, yeah, they're sort of the square little flat frames. I don't like the round ones. Makes you look like, I don't know. Some of them make you look like Benjamin Franklin. Some of them make you look like an old granny. So, I don't know. I prefer the square, the rect rectangular ones that seem to, I don't know, give you kind of a cool, youthful look, if it's, if you can call it that. And, I mean, I know thick sides are popular, but these aren't, aren't thick sides. I try to go for a minimalistic look when it comes to glasses. So, see, yeah, these sides are not thick at all. And neither are my new ones. So, back to the video of my current glasses. I was asked by a friend on YouTube to answer a few questions about my current glasses. And I'm pretty sure I'm nearsighted because that's, I get those mixed up, but that's where you can read things but you can't see things far away. So I'm pretty sure I'm nearsighted. Um, my prescription, that's on the, I don't know the prescription with the old ones, the prescription's on the one for the new ones, which is kind of high, I'm told. All right, um, get a book, a book, magazine will work. Okay, first it says, how much can you see without your glasses or contacts? I can see everything. I mean, it's not like I'm going to bump into anything, but, I mean, everything's fuzzy. It's not clear, but I don't have any problem with depth of perception or with um, colors, sizes, or anything. <clears throat> I can see everything. It's just, it's just blurry and fuzzy. So, I mean, I can get along okay without my glasses. I mean, yeah, I take it off for, like, when I'm filming or different things, and I don't have a problem. Um, okay. Read a few sentences from a book out your glasses. Well, this is a magazine. Okay. I do hold it kind of close. Sheer brilliance on board sound decoders. Sound decoders wire into your engine like a standard decoder, but each includes its own speaker to produce a variety of locomotive sounds. Sounds adjust automatically depending on whether loco is moving or standing still. 1.5 amp capacity is intended primarily for HO scale locomotives, but steam sound decoder may be piggybacked onto larger decoder for large scale use. Features include programmable start voltage, acceleration rate, deceleration rate, top voltage, okay, 14, 28, 128 speed steps, 28 accessory functions, programming on the main for either two or four digit addresses, 8 pin plug NMRA compatible dual mode. Let's see, I get kind of close. Of course, this print is kind of small. Oh, all bifocals will probably get me in a few years. But, alright, describe how you see certain objects in a room without your glasses. Well, I suppose the biggest thing would be, um, probably a lack of details. For instance, our curtains have, uh, lines on them, and I don't see them as well. I see a little bit of a texture, but not specific lines. Um, let's see, I can see the shapes, and I can't see the, the numbers on the clock. They're all blurry. So, I would say, and some shapes are difficult to see, like over there I have a blanket with snowflakes on it, and um, I can't really make out the snowflakes. But, um, like I said, I can see everything, it's just fuzzy and probably absence of detail in some of the objects. So, alright. Thanks for watching. Bye.